the London Marathon, the atmosphere, people say that people there make it, and they do, and they will cheer with you, calling out your name. It's, um, yeah, it's like being a celebrity. <laughs> is fantastic. There are certain points when everyone's around you and there's music playing and everybody's cheering and it's something that I've never ever experienced. I think the cheering point and they just, I just run through like yay all the way through over my day and it was brilliant and it really uplifted me because it was like mile 25 or something and it just gave me that look a bit of encouragement to finish. <laughs> Running down the mile, um, having seen Buckingham Palace is just, yeah, it's indescribable, it's not like anywhere else. Tower Bridge was completely overwhelming, I think. Like, I wasn't ready. It was the first bit where the crowds are absolutely insane, and I wasn't ready for how that felt. Um, yeah, it was brilliant. Well, I, I never think of myself as being the oldest runner. I, I, I think I've got it in my head that I'm about 65, and, and um, I'm always getting told that act your age on you, you know, you should be, you're 85, you should be sitting down in a wheelchair or something. But I said, no, I can't do that. I started running at 60, I'm still running at 76, and I'm hoping to carry on till I'm 80. I'm aiming for that, but whether I'll manage it or not is another matter. But every year, I should keep going. Edge UK have been amazing, they've really helped me out. Throughout, start to finish, I would never do anything for another charity now, they were so good. Um, they always replied to any phone calls or emails. They was constantly updating me with things and checking in on me, to see if I was okay. Um, it was really personal. I don't think till I ran for them and worked a bit with them that you realise how much Age UK do do. In fact, actually, I did a, a long run about a month ago and, and actually ended up getting the bus home because I was shattered. <laughs> but um, I got chatting to a lady at the bus stop. And, um, and she was saying how Age UK had helped her look after her mum for the last nine years of her life. And you sort of, you hear people's stories in a way that you don't um, before you're involved with them. And I think it was really moving. I think, you know, there are people who genuinely help, and so it's nice to do something for them. The others, you know, I'm not drunk for a week. I said, you must be joking. We were drinking last night. <laughs>